Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Peter Siato, who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade for Hungary. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for your invitation. Now, this is the second time around that uh, ITU Telecom World has been in uh, the beautiful city of uh, Budapest in Hungary. And uh, obviously, we did something right the first time around. I just wanted to uh, ask you a little bit about your impressions of ITU Telecom World and how important is it to Hungary to host international events such as this? Look, we have a uh, long-standing cooperation already with uh, ITU and that has a uh, good reason. The Hungarian economy is at the edge of changing uh, dimension and telecommunication, digitalization, uh, IoT, I4.0 uh, all play a very important role uh, in this regard. And if you want to be competitive in the future, you definitely have to be a front runner in these issues, especially if you put into consideration a case of a country which is by size and population small. Uh, so we have to take advantage uh, of the creativity and the, um, and the skillfulness uh, and the diligence of the Hungarian people. So um, telecommunication is a, uh, is an area for us uh, where we have a competitive advantage currently when it comes to the European and global uh, comparison and we would like to build on it. And the cooperation with ITU, hosting uh, ITU uh, Telecom World exhibitions and conferences are very useful uh, from this perspective because we can showcase um, our development here. Absolutely. I think everybody who has attended here has been extremely impressed by the, uh, the country, the city and the organization, definitely. I wanted to ask you, how vital is regional and international collaboration in driving digital transformation? I mean, you've touched upon it just there, but maybe you could expand that for me. You know, look here in uh, Central, you have a, uh, Central Europe. Uh, we have a very strong political alliance uh, between four countries, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia and uh, Hungary. And that helps a lot uh, when it comes to economic development uh, of these countries. Uh, currently, we serve as a growth engine for Europe, uh, putting into consideration the growth rates. Uh, three of the top five growth rates of EU now come from the Central European uh, countries. And um, if we would like to keep this advantage of ours, and if we would like to uh, maintain our position, then we definitely have to be front runners when it comes to digitalization. And you know, these are uh, countries which uh, have made many structural reforms. Uh, in the last years, which then uh, ended up in an investment climate, which is pretty uh, beneficial for uh, high in value uh, and R&D driven um, economies like uh, telecommunication uh, and uh, ICT. So, um, so that's why uh, we work together on development uh, projects. We continuously lower the, uh, the tax rates uh, in order to make our countries more and more attractive when it comes to investors coming from uh, this area. Now, the theme of this year's event is innovating together, a connectivity that matters. I wanted to ask you, what for you is meaningful connectivity? Look, we, um, the basis for our national economy and the backbone of it is the automotive industry. And uh, we know that automotive industry is entering now a totally new age when uh, the autonomously driven cars will more or less likely play the uh, most important role. And if you want to be a front runner uh, in developments and research regarding uh, autonomously driven cars, then you definitely need connectivity because all these uh, cars must run on a 5G uh, technology communicating uh, with each other. So we know very well that uh, in order to maintain the successes we have reached uh, in the past, we, ha we have to put a lot of emphasis uh, on, on 5G and testing autonomously driven cars. That's why we have made the necessary infrastructural uh, developments uh, for that and the, uh, the program which is called um, uh, Hungary Connects uh, is very telling, I guess. And what role does Hungary play in driving the digital economy in the region and, uh, and in, in Europe as a whole? Uh, look, currently we are around two years ahead of the European uh, agenda of uh, digitalization. We would like to keep this advantage uh, of uh, ours. Regarding 4G and 4G+, Plus, we have a national coverage of 91.4%, uh, which puts us number eight globally and number two in the uh, European Union. And we, it's not a secret, we have a plan that, that we become a kind of regional hub for the uh, 5G developments. That's why we have built a very unique uh, testing area for autonomously driven uh, cars, where we have basically built a smart um, city zone where these autonomously driven cars can be tested under 
every kinds of circumstances and scenarios in an urban uh, environment, which makes this uh, facility very unique uh, in, in Europe. So we made a lot of uh, investments in order to be front runners uh, in this regard. Well, as you know, it's a subject very close to our hearts and hopefully we'll get a, a chance to have a yeah. look at that at some stage. Well, thank you, you very should. much for, for, for joining us in the studio and we look forward to catching up with you again, I'm sure, in the very near future. We appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.